Michael Schwartz from Valley of the Suns here live from an empty U.S. Airways Center that just hours ago was full of orange. It was loud, but now all the noise has been turned down in the building for the season as the Los Angeles Lakers came in in Game 6 and defeated the Suns 111 to 103 to take the Western Conference Championship. They'll move on to face the Boston Celtics, of course. Now, Kobe Bryant was the key tonight, scoring 37 points and coming up with a big bucket whenever the Lakers needed one. He had some just ridiculous fadeaway shots after one patting Alvin Gentry on the butt as if to say, you know what, this is my night tonight. Ron Artest was also huge for the Lakers, going for an unexpected 25 points, buoyed by his big Game 5 putback that won that game and really turned this series. Now, for the Suns, you really can't think of this as all good doom and gloom. The Suns had a great season. This was a team that nobody expected to go anywhere, expected maybe be in the 7-8 range of the Western Conference, maybe pull off a first round upset, but really nobody could have expected any more unless you're the biggest Suns homer in the world. What do they do? They go out, they get that three seed, then they just roll into the playoffs, steamroll the Portland Trailblazers, sweep the San Antonio Spurs to exercise some of those, those demons, and then they took the Los Angeles Lakers to six games. And of course, if game five had gone a little bit differently, if Jason Richardson had boxed out Ron Artest. Maybe the Suns can win that game, go to overtime, and maybe they'd still be playing right now. But it wasn't meant to be. It's still just a fantastic season. Everything kind of came together with this team. The chemistry was fantastic, and that's something that Jared Dudley was talking about in the locker room after the game. That's the best. I mean, I've only been in the league three years, and I was on a, you know, a losing team in Charlotte uh, coming here this year. You have stars who sacrifice. You had young guys who grew up. And you had uh, you had a sense of people uh, trying to do the right things for the better of the team, and that's all you can ask for. Yeah, everything just kind of came together for this team. It was a really special year, and the Suns will always have that. Sure, your ultimate goal is to go to the finals and compete for a championship and win a championship. But this Suns team did about everything else. It was a great team to watch. It, from a man, everyone on down, Steve Nash, Grant Hill, everyone else, thought this was kind of the closest team to play together, the most close-knit, most fun team to play with. And now we'll see what this squad's going to be like next year. A lot of big decisions in the offseason. We don't know what Amari Stoudemire is thinking. He's the big domino. Then you've got to figure out what's going on with Channing Frye and then even a Lou Amundsen. So we'll see if the Suns team that was here on the floor tonight is the same team that they bring back next year. I really think it should. See with another year with this chemistry, with the young guys continuing to improve, what they can do. But for now, it's about time to turn off the lights on this season on U.S. Airways Center for the year as the Phoenix Suns season came to an end with a disappointing Western Conference Finals loss to the Los Angeles Lakers. Signing off for Valley of the Suns, I'm Michael Schwartz.